Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this rectangle A, B, C, D. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this point F is the midpoint of this uh, line segment E, B. And moreover, this line segment uh, D, E is uh, 3. And this uh, line segment E, C is uh, 9 units. And furthermore, uh, this uh, side uh, AD is uh, 3 units as well. And now we are going to calculate this distance uh, AF. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, rectangle. Over here we can see that this uh, side length uh, is uh, 3 units. And since these two opposite sides are uh, equal length if this is three units this has got to be three units as well and likewise this side length this whole side length cd is going to be some of these numbers three and nine that is going to give us 12 so therefore this side length a b is going to be 12 units as well and here's our next step let's focus on this triangle b c e and we know that these two line segments EF and FB are equal in length. Let me go ahead and call this side length X. Then this has got to be X as well. So therefore this uh, total length EB is going to be X plus X is going to give us uh, 2 times X. So thus the side lengths for this uh, triangle BCE are 3, 9 and 2X. And since we are dealing with this uh, right uh, triangle, so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and label this longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side a and this side b. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a in our case is 9, so it's going to be a 9 square. b in our case is 3 whole square and c in our case is 2x whole square. Now let's go ahead and simplify that is going to give us 81 plus 9 equal to 4x square. So therefore 4x square turns out to be 90. Now let's divide both sides by 4. This is gone. So our x square equals to 90 divided by 4. Let's go ahead and undo this uh, square so we are going to have uh, x equal to positive uh, square root of uh, 90 divided by square root of 4 is simply 2 and now we know that the square root of 90 could be simplified to 3 times uh, square root of 10 so therefore our x uh, value turns out to be 3 times uh, square root of 10 divided by 2 so thus our this x value turns out to be 3 times square root of 10 divided by 2. As you can see over here this whole uh, line segment uh, EF is uh, 3 times square root of 10 divided by 2 and likewise uh, same thing uh, over here as well. So therefore this uh, total length uh, EB is going to be the sum of these uh, two numbers and here I have added these one it turns out to be 3 times square root of 10 as I put it down over here and now let's make an observation we can see that these lines AB and CD are parallel to each other and this line EB is a transversal then these angles this angle and these angle are going to be alternate interior angle if I call this angle theta then this angle has got to be theta as well. And now let's go ahead and focus once again on this uh, triangle BCE. And now let's recall uh, so Katoa and we are interested in uh, cosine of theta equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. And in our case for angle theta this one uh, our adjacent is going to be this side and our hypotenuse is going to be this uh, longest leg. So therefore our cosine of theta is going to be adjacent in our case is 9 and our hypotenuse is 3 times square root of 10. Let me go ahead and write down 9 divided by 3 times square root of 
10. And if we reduce this thing, our cosine of theta is going to become 3 divided by square root of 10. And this uh, cosine of theta is going to help us in our this, uh, next step. And now here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, AFB. And we are interested in finding uh, this uh, side length AF. Let me go ahead and label this side as an A. So we are going to find the value of A. And the other sides of this triangle AFB are 12. And this one 3 times square root of 10 divided by 2. And now let's recall the law of cosines for this triangle ABC whose angles are alpha, beta, and gamma. And the side lengths are A, B, and lowercase c. So therefore, we got these three different law of cosines. In our case, this side is A. If I call this side lowercase b and this side c. And our angle is theta. So let's go ahead and apply the law of cosine on this uh, triangle. So this is going to give us uh, a square equal to b square plus c square minus 2 times bc cosine of theta. Let's go ahead and solve for a. So a square is going to be, in our case, b is 12. So this is going to become a 12 square plus C in our case is 3 times square root of 10 divided by 2 whole square minus 2 times B in our case is 12. C is 3 times square root of 10 divided by 2 times our this cosine theta is 3 divided by square root of 10. So I'm going to write down 3 divided by square root of 10 over here. And now let's focus on this one. 3 times square root of 10 divided by 2 whole square. Over here we can see if we take the square of this one, that is going to give us 90 divided by 4. So therefore, I'm going to replace this one 90 divided by 4. So therefore, we got a square equal to 144 plus this is going to give us 90 divided by 4. And here in our case over here, the square root of 10 and this square root 10 is gone. This 2 is gone with this 2. Now we are going to go ahead and multiply 12 times 3 times 3. That is going to give us minus 108. Now let's go ahead and combine these two numbers. So we got a square equal to 36 plus this reduces to simply 45 divided by 2. Now let's focus on these numbers on the right hand side and I have copied them down. And if we simplify everything, it turns out to be 117 divided by 2. So therefore, we can write a square equal to 117 divided by 2. Now let's go ahead and take a square root on both sides to undo this square. I'm going to take square root over here and square root at the bottom as well. So therefore this square and square root is gone. So our a value turns out to be square root of 117 divided by square root of 2. And now we are going to rationalize this denominator by multiplying and dividing by square root of 2 over here. So therefore we are going to get a equal to, let's go ahead and multiply out uh, these numbers in the numerator. That is going to give us a square root of uh, 234 divided by square root of 2 times square root of 2 is simply is going to give us uh, 2. And now we can see that this side a is simply this uh, distance uh, af. So therefore, AF length turns out to be square root of 234 divided by 2. So thus our length AF turns out to be square root of 234 divided by 2 units. And that is approximately equal to 7.65 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.